tennis, the sport everyone thinks they can just pick up and play until they try and then they fail miserably. But some men who are absolutely not failing, the U of I men's tennis team, they are on fire this spring and here with what you can expect at a match is the head coach, Brad Dancer. Brad, thanks for being with us. Thanks so much for having me. All right, let's talk Illini men's tennis. How is the season going? We're having a, we're having a great season. We've got a very enthusiastic, uh, big personality group that uh, I think has been fun for our fans to watch and so forth. We're 20 in the country at the moment, so uh, for us, that's, you know, obviously it's, there's nothing to shake a stick at, but we have higher aspirations as well. So for those people who have never experienced an Illini men's tennis match, what is that experience like? Yeah, well, first off, just format-wise is different from maybe the tennis you see on TV where you have, we have to play three doubles matches and whichever team wins two of those three gets a point. And then afterwards we play six singles matches and whoever is the first team to four overall points wins at each singles math is worth, is, is worth a point. So there's doubles to start. You take a little two, three minute break and then we go out for singles. And so that, that's kind of the, the bare bones of it. And then from there, it's really, you know, this offense, defense and who can win the chess match of each particular match. And, and the fans are yelling and screaming and the teams are yelling and screaming. <laughs> and so there's, you know, you don't think of it as like Wimbledon where you, gotta, you sit on your hands or something like that. Like people are up and, and yelling and screaming. And so it's a lot more enthusiastic enthusiastic and fun than maybe the vision that a lot of people have that haven't been to a match. Well, yeah, that was going to be my next question that you kind of already answered. Having been to volleyball games and football games and basketball games where the atmosphere is always electric, it sounds like it may be similar at a tennis match. It's, it's I would say the closest thing to it is volleyball because there's a, there's a point action happening and then there's a reaction to a point and that just happens again and again and again at, in all of our courts. So uh, basketball is more, you know, maybe flowing up and down and so forth. But I think that the closest thing is volleyball. We have those explosive celebrations just like Spike Swat does. Yeah, tell me about your team. Yeah, our team is an incredibly uh, eclectic and diverse mix of personalities. We have 11 members on our squad. We've got four guys from the state of Illinois. We've got four international players, and then the rest of the team is made up from guys from different parts of the country. Uh, all ages as well. We've got some young guys that are just getting their feet wet a little bit, and then we've got some older guys that are grad students as well. So the transfer, we have transfers, we have newcomers, uh, Japan, England, France, uh, kind of all over the place. So it's a, it's a big eclectic mix, big personalities, and to be honest, a really fun group to be around. And it's going to be a great opportunity. Come check them out. You've got an away game coming up at Northwestern, but then coming up April 14th, we've got Mom's Weekend, always a big weekend there on campus. Sounds like you're giving out some wine glasses. we got to give the wine glasses out for the moms. <laughs> and, and, you know, this is always the, it's like everybody always, hey, can I get a hotel room that weekend? And they're like, no, you can't because oh. every mom from around the country yes. is coming in. So if we can get 10% uh, of those moms to come out, we know we're going to have a great afternoon. Well, yeah, okay, so that's <laughs> April 14th, so save the date for that. Then April 16th, we have to honor our seniors. Yep. And that's, uh, you know, that's a day that uh, us dumb coaches, we get the tears in our eyes and, and you're, you know, we do, we do the presentation pre-match. I'm like, why do we always do that? You get me all emotional, <laughs> get the senior all emotional before the matches. But uh, yeah, it'll be a great celebration for us this year uh, when we do that. Well, and a great opportunity to go and check out a match. Your favorite thing about tennis? Uh, to me, it's a chess match, right? It's 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 uh, boxing without the threat of getting knocked out a little bit, and so you're always kind of figuring those things out. That's what I enjoy as a coach. Um, and then I think you know you see all these books and articles that are written about tennis being a parable for life, and I do feel like there's there's a lot to that as well. Okay, you mentioned tears in your eyes. Are you up for a little trivia? Because I need you to take on Brett. And I don't need there to be any crying involved. Well, he, he, I could see him getting a tear in his eye at the end. Uh oh. <laughs> well, we're going to find out. You're going to stick around. Um, thank you for coming. This is a, a great opportunity to learn a little bit more about the Illini men's tennis team. They are ranked. They're doing pretty great. And if you want to see the full schedule and learn more about them, be sure to head to CILiving.tv.